Hello all, in this particular tutorial, I'll talk about how to connect to Rack database. The, what, before we try to connect to the Rack database, we need to understand the concept of scan. Scan name is a name for virtual IP. Scan is associated with the entire cluster. So it is just not just associated with one node. You can have, you can have 10 nodes and you can connect, like you can connect to all those 10 nodes using the same scan name. Scan is associated with multiple IP addresses, not just one address. You, you can have an one IP address, but you can have multiple IP addresses for scan. And scan should be in the public subnet. Scan should be in the public subnet. And the applications can connect to RAG database using host IP, virtual IP, or scan IP. However, it is recommended to use scan in RAG environment. So you should connect to your database using the scan and not using the host IP or virtual IP. The, before we understand, so this, if you look at this particular diagram, you can see that we have got public IP, we got private IP. These are the public IP and private IP are actual NICs. So you can have this, what I mean by NIC, NIC stands for Network Interface Card. So you can have, you, these are the physical NICs. These, the virtual IP and scan IP is virtual. So they don't, those IPs don't need a physical network interface card. So it doesn't need a NIC card. And if you see this particular diagram, you should notice one thing. The public IP, virtual IP and scan IP is all in color green. And the, the reason of that is because they are in the same subnet. And the applications, application server should be also in the same subnet. If your application is not in the same subnet as the as the scan IP or the public IP or the virtual IP, your application will not be able to connect to your Oracle database. So now I, I, I would like to explain it. So this is a three node cluster. So let's say, let's take a look at this three node cluster. This is a node one, DB1, node two, DB2, node three, DB3. If you look at the private IP, private IP is subnet 192.168.0. However, if you look at the subnet for public IP, which is 192.168.1, virtual IP, which is 192.168.1, and the scan IP, which is 192.168.1. And you can see here that the this scan IP is in the same subnet as the public IP, and the virtual IP is also in the same subnet as public IP. So the wherever, whichever is the subnet of public IP, your scan IP and your virtual IP should be in the same subnet and application server should also be in the same subnet as your scan IP. Now that now that we have understood, we can use this particular OIF config get if command to find out the interfaces and SRVCTL config scan command to get the information about your scan IP. So you can use this particular commands to get information about your scan IP. So now let's do something. Let's actually, let's see if our database is running. So if, if I do ps minus ef grep pmon uh, and looks like our database is running. This is node 2, as you can see, this is node 2. Let me go on the node 1 and run the same command. And you can see on the node 1 also, I have got ASM 1, 19C1 on node 1. And on node 2, I've got ASM 2 and 19C2. Looks like my database is running. Now, I can also log into one of, the, and I can, actually what I can do is like, I can run a, another command called CRSCTL. So let me run CRSCTL using the grid home or grid user CRSCTL stat res minus T, I'll run this particular command and you can see that my database Aura19C database is in the open condition. And you, you can also see my scan whips are up. My scan listener, where is my scan listener? Yeah, so my scan listener is also up. It's, you can see it's all online. So it looks like my scan listener is all online. My scan whips are all online and before I go into more detail, let me show you how my cat etc host file looks like. So if I take a look at cat etc host file, you can see that this is the public IP, which is in the subnet of one. This is the private IP, which is in the subnet zero. Virtual IP is in the same subnet as your public IP, 192.168.1. And the scan IP is also in the same subnet as 192.168.1. So except the private IP, everything is in the same subnet. Now, 
I should be able to connect using any of these IPs 1.121, 1.122 and 1.123. I should be able to connect to my database. Now I'm going to I'm going to try to connect to the database using 1.121. So let me open the SQL developer and let me put here and I'm going to and this is let's say I want to connect to the rack DB and username is Oracle and give the password of Oracle, which is password and the IP address can IP 192.4 port is 1521 and the I'll give the service name which is Aura 19C. Let me do the test and if and I will get a network adapter error. I will get a network adapter error. So my machine, my machine will not be able to connect to the RAG database. Now what I'll do is like I will actually connect to a I'll connect to the let's say let's say I want to connect to an application server. So 192.168.1 0.120 let me connect to the an application server so this is an application server so i'm connecting to the application server and here i'll try to connect so this is an application server and i'm going to try to connect and whatever information i provided here you got the here i got the network adapter could not establish the connection i'm going to take the same information exactly same so 192.168.1.121.1521 or 19c i'm going to take the same connection and here we got the network adapter i'm going to go there and i'm going to put the same information here so let's say reg db whatever you want this is your choice oracle password and here the ip address 1521 exactly same and the service name is aura 19c and if I do the test here, you can see it says success. I'm going to save this connection and I'm going to connect to this connection. Let's ask for the password. And then I'm going to run this very simple query, which is going to give me how my rack is. Is it really a rack database? And you can see I connected GV dollar instance and GV dollar database. And you can see I got instance name of C1, C2, DB1, DB2 instance is in the open mode. The database is this and the database is in the read write mode and you can see that i was able to connect using the same properties using the same properties 192.168.1.21 and 1521 or 19 c i was able to connect however i am not able to connect so what could be the reason why from my local machine i'm not able to connect however from my remote or application server i'm able to connect and the answer to that is pretty simple you are missing the subnet you are missing the subnet or the subnet is configured is not correct. So I'm going to launch the command prompt here. Let me clear this. And if I run IP config, and before doing that, actually, before doing that, let me go to the server. And what I'll do here is like, we have seen that everything is online. So let's see using the OIF config, get if command, what is what are these subnets? So you can see the 192.168.0 is the is the interconnect the private interconnect and asm and 192.168.1 is the public interface so this i should be in this subnet for the application to connect and we can actually verify that so let's actually take a look at our etc host file once again and you can see that 192.168.1 is public the 192.168.0 is private and here also you can see that cl cluster interconnect which is nothing but private interconnect is, is in the 192.168.0 and scan is also 192.168.1 we can use another commands and i'll show you those so the srv ctl config scan and i'm going to only grab for ipv4 otherwise it's a pretty long output so let's see what, what are our scan IPs and you can see our scan IPs are 192.168.1.121 and let's take a look at our VIPs. So config node apps minus A. So this is the command and again I'm going to grab for IPv4 because I'm not interested and you can see my VIPs are 1.120, 111. So you can see VIP is 111, 111, the 112, 112 and VIP is also correct scan ip is 121 122 123 and 121 122 123 now i'm going to use I, I i'm trying to i will try to see if i can connect to any of these scan ip so i'll do ping 121 i'm not getting any response let's try 122 i'm not getting any response and let's try 123 i'm not getting any response let's go back to the server and let's run the same command so ping 
192.165. I got the response. 122, I'm getting the response. And th because I am able to get the response from my, my scan IP, I am able to connect to my rag database. As you can see, we were able to connect to our rag database and I fired the query. Now, the, ans the, the reason of this, like that my local server is not able to connect while my, my, my remote machine, my application server is able to connect. It is pretty simple. The, uh, the reason of that is pretty simple. And that for that, if I run IP config, find str IPv4, which will show me what subnets I am on this particular machine. And you can see this particular machine has got two subnets 192.168.0.120 and 192.168.1.120 and since this is in the same subnet which is the which is the public subnet which is 192.168.1 that is the reason why this particular machine is able to connect to the rag database however however my local machine if i run this particular command You can see it is only in the subnet of zero. It is not in the it is not in the subnet of public. It is not in the subnet of public, and that is the reason why my local machine is not able to connect to the rag database. I hope you understood the concept of scan. You can understood the concept that scan IP should be in the public interface. Only the private network should be in the different subnet, and the private interface face cannot be used to connect to the application your application server should be in the public subnet and the virtual ip should be in the public subnet and the scan ip should be also in the public subnet now i also want to tell you one thing the pub the public ip and the private ip are the only ips which are physical ips the virtual ip and the scan ip are virtual ips so what do you mean by virtual ip so now if i if i go to the back to the server and if i we know that our virtual ips and i can i can show it to you the virtual ip is 1.111 and 1.112 and you can see from here as well which is exactly same and our our the scan IPs is 1.121, 1.122, and 1.123. If I go to the application server and if I say if I say ping to the scan IPs, so if I do the ping to 121, I'm getting the response, which is the first scan IP, 122, which is the second scan IP, 123, which is the third scan IP. I'm getting the response. And also I will get the response from the virtual IP. So 111, I'm getting the response, and 112, which is the virtual IP, I'm getting the response. I will I will be able to also get the response to the physical IPs which is 101 which is the physical IP and I'm able to get the response to 102. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the server and I'm going to run so I'm going to go back to the node one. So let me clear this and let me clear this I'm going to go back to the node one and node two I'm going to run same command on both the nodes IP config IP config, sorry, not IP config, it should be IF config. IP config is on the Windows. So grab for IPv4. And why did I not get it? Yeah. Okay, so grab INET, sorry. And, and I'm going to run exactly same command here. So now that I have ran I've, I've ran the I've ran the commands and you can see that 101 and 11 1 1.101 is actually the physical interface rest all 123 122 111 112 and 121 all of these are actually virtual IPs so the, 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 the what do you mean by virtual IP and what do you mean by physical IP so if the cluster is down all of these IP will go away those virtual IPs will be not reachable right now we can see we were able to reach to all of those IPs 121 111 1, 121 122 123 or we were able to reach to all of those scan IPs as well as the virtual IP so we were able to reach to 121 122 123 111 112 I don't have the node 3 and we were able to also reach to public IP. Now let's me, let me stop the cluster. So I'm going to stop the cluster. So let, to stop the cluster, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go as root. 
And first I'm going to say CRS. I actually I'm going to do CLS CTL. Um, okay, I'm, and I'm going to do that on the other node as well. So I'm stopping the cluster. And once I stop the cluster, I'm going to run the exactly same command, the IP config, uh, IF config grep inet on both the nodes. So give it a minute. And then we will see if we are able to ping to those IPs. So just give me a minute, the cluster is getting sh shut down. As you can see, Oracle High Orbit Service has been stopped. Oracle High Orbit Service has been stopped. So on both the nodes, the Oracle High Orbit Service has been stopped. Now what we are going to do is we are going to run the exactly same command. So let me exit from here. And then I'm going to run the ifconfig command here. And let me exit from here as well. And I clear the screen and I'll show it to you. And now if I take this, you can see, let me clear the screen. And let me clear the screen. And now you can see none of those extra IPs that we were able to see now we have got only 0 0.102 and 1 1.102 on node 2 and 1 .101, 0 0.101 and 1 1.101 on node 1. Where are, where are the other IPs? 121, 122, 123, 111, 112. Where are those IPs? Only the private IP and the public IP remained. All of the other IPs have disappeared from my rack boxes. And if I now, if I try to ping to those 121, 122, I'm not getting any response. So this is one of the virtual IP. 121 is a scan IP. I'm not getting any response. 122, I'm not getting any response. The concept of that is those are virtual IP. Only if the cluster rack is up, we will those IPs will be available. Those IP will be brought up. So who brings those cluster IPs up? The Oracle cluster, rack cluster brings those IPs up. Once the cluster is down, those IPs are also shut down so we will not get any response from those ips when the oracle cluster is down and that is the reason it is called virtual ip it is not however these are physical interfaces these are the physical interfaces the private and the public interface is a physical interface which means there is a nic card network interface card where these ips are configured on this particular server so the private ip and public ip are the physical ips where there is a nic card the virtual these are the virtual IP and the scan IP are virtual IP whips are the virtual IP and they are they don't have associated physical card Oracle cluster where brings those IPs. I hope this particular tool was too useful after watching this particular tutorial you will understand how to connect to the rack database you will understand what is the concept of scan and you will also understand the concept of what is the private ip what is the public ip what is the virtual ip and how, what is the what are what are the physical ips and what are the actual virtual ips thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial if you do like the channel if you do like the videos that i'm uploading do subscribe to my channel and see you in next tutorial bye bye